When we're talking about Medicare not make any sense, the next two items really don't make any sense at all when it comes to Medicare. We're gonna first talk about what are Medigap select plans. A Medigap select plan is a Medicare supplement plan that actually has a network to it. A great example of Medicare just not making any sense at all. The insurance provider will determine a network of doctors, facilities, and hospitals that are approved for services. The individual must get their services at those approved doctor's office, facilities, or hospitals, or the policy will not pay anything at all. The Medigap Select Plan will cover out-of-network emergency care like that of a Medicare Advantage plan. So it's kind of a crossbreed between a Medigap Supplement and a Medicare Advantage plan. There are not many insurance companies that still offer these Medigap Select Plans or, ins or insurance agents that actually offer them as well either. Here's another way that Medicare just doesn't make any sense is that Medigap Supplement Plans offered in Wisconsin Minnesota and Massachusetts do not follow the standard alphabet letters as outlined in the Medigap supplement charts, which makes this very, very confusing for a lot of individuals. So in Wisconsin, they have what's called a basic plan. The individual can then select some optional riders to cover certain parts of Medicare Part A and B that they feel are important to their coverage. It will still operate like a Medigap supplement plan all across the United States, but again, it's a little bit different because there's a basic plan and then that individual selects different riders to create what they want to cover with the Medigap supplement plan. In Minnesota, Minnesota has a basic plan or an extended basic plan. The basic plan offers select riders to help cover certain parts of Medicare Part A and B, just like that of uh, Wisconsin. They also offer an extended basic plan which will automatically cover some of these additional riders and then provide some unique features like an extra 20 days of skilled nursing facility care beyond Medicare's 100 days as well as some additional foreign travel benefits to it. Lastly, Massachusetts. Massachusetts has three plans to choose from which are called the core plan, supplement one plan, or the 1A plan. The core plan will be much like the plan A for the Medigap supplement. The supplement one plan will be very similar to the plan F. And then lastly, the 1A plan will be like the plan G. So if you're needing some help in any one of these states, please feel free to give us a call here at Healthcare Susan Direct so that we can look at your situation and help best advise you on exactly what riders you need for your, for your circumstance and see how we can best help you out. Thank you so much.